Good morning. We thought we would do an unexpected live this morning on our way to church. And, uh, we drive. We drive quite a ways to church. We drive uh, right about an hour every Sunday morning, and a lot of times we go home. Got that reflection on me. Uh, a lot of times we go home on Sunday, so today we're not, but a lot of Sundays we'll go home. And um, so we're, we're driving four hours, Sunday morning and Sunday night, to church. But anyway, when you find a good church, it's worth it, right? Yes, ma'am. So we got Caleb back there with us. Say hi, Caleb. <laughs> Caleb's still sleeping. Let's see, we got, let's see who we got on here. We got one person watching us. I can't tell who it is. Give us a comment so we know who you are. And, uh, let's see, what have we done this week, babe? Worked around the house a lot. Yeah, we're having a, we're having a fall festival at our house this Saturday. And, uh, we're going to have... We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have uh, a hayride and a bonfire and volleyball and uh, the guys are gonna shoot skeets and stuff. I think. Mm -hmm. Ske skeet contest. Yes, barbecue. The guys are gonna smoke a bunch of meat. Everybody's gonna bring sides. Oh goodness, it's gonna be a good time. We're gonna have a good time. Okay, let's see who. Who is this that commented? Oh, it went away. Y'all, we're not good at this. This is our first time, so I don't know how to how to look. Who that was? Maybe if you turn it the other way, you can see. Which way? Oh, this way? No, it won't work that way. Sorry, y'all. Uh, can you read what that is? It looks like Carolyn. This car's jumping around so much <laughs> that uh, I can't really see. But anyway, we, we've been trying to spruce up the place a little bit. Kind of gives us a incentive to get some things done that we've been wanting to get done. And uh, have y'all ever heard, I don't know if I can turn this camera around. I guess not. Um, have y'all ever heard of the Texas Motor Speedway? That's it right there. We pass it on our way to church every Sunday. And I tell you what, if if they're having a race like they were having last week, we're just in a world of hurt because this is so much traffic. That's actually the biggest stadium, I think, in Texas. Isn't it, babe? How many does it hold? I think like 200,000 or something. Bunch. A whole bunch. A bunch of rednecks. Yep. So, rednecks are usually good people, though, right? So, uh, Chris is teaching Sunday school this morning. We do the young people's class. What are you going to teach on this morning? Uh, we're talking about Joseph. About how he was uh, forgiving and man of compassion. And uh, we're on the part where... Uh, his brother's headed back home after going down to Egypt to get grain and food for during the seven years of drought and famine. And I'm going to talk about how the, he had, he don't, even, even though he had a chance to, as the prince of, uh, or the prime minister of Egypt, to be hateful and mean and get it back to his brothers for the rough treatment they gave him, he actually performed an act of compassion by not only giving them food, selling them food, but he put their money back in their sack and gave it back to them when he could have really made it rough on them. So, anyways, talk about that a little bit. He does a lot of his studying from a book by Chuck Swindoll. If y'all have never heard of Chuck Swindoll, y'all need to look him up. He's got lots of messages and stuff on, on here on YouTube that you can watch and listen to. Sometimes in the mornings, I'll just turn it on and listen to two or three of them. He's very, very interesting. He had a, 
he was the president of of the Bible College here in Dallas, and uh, but he is so good. He's a he's an author, and he he just talks in ways that you can just understand, and uh, keeps you engaged. Love to listen to Chuck Swindoll, but uh, he likes to study from some of his books. We always get the kids donuts. And we have donuts and coffee in our class. He gave it to us in the Halloween box. We don't celebrate Halloween. But uh, anyway, oh well. So we're about, probably about 10 minutes away from church. So we'll, we'll talk to you a little bit longer. But uh, we've got some good news on Chris's mom. You want to update on that? What? How oh, she's doing so good with her. Well, she's just doing better with this second round of chemotherapy. It's not making her sick as like the other one was. And uh, looks like she's going to be able to tolerate it pretty good so far. So, Y'all have been so good to ask about her and, and pray for her. She's uh, just starting a new new chemo. This this one, like he said, it, and it doesn't make her sick. But she's got to do it for 12 weeks. Every week. So... And then uh, my mom, Granny, she's doing pretty good. She's uh, actually got some good, good, good report last week. So it's nice to for both of them be feeling pretty well. We're hoping that they both get to come to the festival this weekend. So can you think of anything else we need to tell these fine folks? You are such good friends. <laughs> I have a feeling they don't really they're not like they don't sit around going I wonder what Chris and Kristen are doing yes they do they do because they ask me oh. right right friends give me thumbs up if y'all say yes <laughs> but Chris will also lead service or song service this morning you are you got a song picked out he usually tries to his favorite question to ask me what song can we sing this morning you got a song on your heart, Christy? Every well, Sunday. not every Sunday, but we uh, we we got we got good people. We're so blessed. But, well, folks, if uh, if y'all like this, maybe we can start trying to do this on Sunday mornings, our little ride to church for a few minutes. Y'all have a blessed Sunday morning. And God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs>